Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs bringing you another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create a nice introduction, intro if you will, in After Effects. Uh, it will end up looking something like this. Now as you can see that's not very complicated but it's quite nice, it's quite clean and quite simple. Um, one thing before I start, this does involve no light factory. Um, you can get that from Red Giant, I believe it does cost, but it's quite a, quite a good plugin. Okay, so first of all you want to go make your new composition, make a new composition. By the way, if you experience any lag during this tutorial of my computer, that is purely because it's not the best. Anyway, okay, so make it 1080 by 720, that's just what I'm going to use, and the duration is going to be 7 seconds. I'm going to click OK, I've got 29 frames per second, 0.97. Okay. So then you want to go ahead and make a new solid. Black, okay, doesn't really matter, because you're going to go to Effect, Generate, and then Ramp. Then you're going to want to make a grey at the bottom and roughly the same at the top, but maybe just a bit different, just to uh, give it a slight more contrast. Okay, so you have the backdrop, you want to go ahead and make the text now, so click new text. And I'm going to type in CD, standing for Chrome Designs. Increase the size and the, well, the pixels, just by dragging it up. Maybe use... Whoops. 400. Take off capitals. And maybe just make it a bit darker. We're highlighting it and going to the foreground colour and just lowering it, lowering it down on the colour scale a bit. Okay, so there we go. And then you want to go ahead and click title action safe. This will make you make can yeah, can help you line up the title to the centre. There you go, and then I'm going to click up a few times, so I've got one it right in the middle, I just want it centred from the left to right axes. Okay, so you have the CD, and now if I highlight them both, um, oh yeah, by the way, this font is Bank Gothic, uh, you can download that, so basically just search it on Google, Bank Gothic, uh, you can just download it and then install it. Um, for this size I've got it on 400 and on the little AV letters with a little arrow pointing left and right I've got it to minus, minus 133 uh, just to say it's on zero which it will be as you see the letters are really separated um, it did look better if it was on minus 133 okay so you have the basic CD then if you go onto the CD layer and click Control D that will duplicate duplicate the layer then you can just drag that under I'm going to type in Chrome Designs and if you click Control A that will highlight it all then you can lower the size down to something that fits now I'm not going to go back and write Chrome Designs HD and then lower it just a bit more, maybe to 50. 55, 60 will do. 60, okay. Line it up, zoom in. Okay, now one thing I do like to do, which looks quite nice, um, if you highlight it all and then just highlight the HD bit, then you can lower the size down and if you go under it there's a little T with a arrow going up and down if you lower that there you go then after that you uh, below that there is then an A with a little arrow and another A sitting on top of it if you drag that up to about mine's on 11 as you'll see that's like that just makes it look quite nice so it doesn't blend in as a word if you know what I mean like the date when you have the TH on the end of the number yeah anyway there you go so 
you have the basic text then what you want to go and do is on the back layer, I'm just going to rename it now to background now this is where I'm going to use the null light factory go click on null light factory then you want to go to LF glow now with this glow I'm going to first of all position it to the left you can have it from the top from the bottom wherever you want it to come from I'm going to fade it from the left to start and then as you see if you go down to the global brightness and you just increase it there you go just expands out and that's basically the trick of it and then the rest is just opacity changing okay so if you keyframe that it's gonna start off with it's gonna start off with zero then if you go about 50 second no not 50 milliseconds rather just before a second and then change the global brightness to whenever it fills up the whole screen so like there as you see that's predominantly white and that will then just make it fade in 